You're watching Higher Things Video Shorts with me, Pastor Chris Hall. If you're looking for an easy way to support Higher Things, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Also hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss any Higher Things content. You can follow Higher Things on social media and our website over at www.higherthings.org. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, we ask that you remember us in your donations and prayers. Last time we talked about what does forgiveness do for you, to you. Forgiveness regenerates you. You are born again, not in sin, but in the words of holy absolution. It sets you free from a burdened life. It's not a license, because that, that can be how it's um, understood sometimes, is, well, I'm forgiven, that means I have license to go out and do whatever I want again. But, but that's still a bondage. Remember, St. Paul said to the Christians in Galatia, you know, with your freedom, don't return to a yoke of slavery again. It's talking about don't return to the law, don't return to legalism, don't return to saying I have to be circumcised and do all these things first in order to be a Christian. But he's also saying don't, don't also run into just the ways of the world again. You've been born anew in absolution, created in the image of Christ in the forgiveness of your sins, and now we live a new life. We are literally a new creation, like it says in Corinthians. That's what we are, a, a new creation. We no longer desire those things of the world. But what when I do? What happens when I do desire those things? That's, that's where the problem comes in. I don't desire the things of the world, and yet I do. I, I, I kind of like gossiping sometimes. It's fun to spread the juicy news. I kind of like going to all-you-can-eat buffets and eating so much that they literally have to wheel me out of there. I mean, I enjoy going 35 miles an hour over the speed limit while eating 20 Twinkies. I'm, this is confession time for me, by the way. These are all things I do. The Twinkies, that was a bad time in my life, but Christ has atoned for it and we're okay. But the reality is, we, we still sin. St. Paul says in Galatians 5, the spirit and the flesh are at war with each other, preventing me from doing the things I want to do, from living the way I want to live. So the Christian then despairs because I don't want to sin and yet I do. I know who I am. I know I'm claimed by Christ. I know I'm destined for eternity and yet I still cling to this stuff. So what happens when we despair? Do we just give up? Do we give in and say, never mind, I'm just going to live this way and we'll see what happens? No, we, by faith and the call of the Holy Spirit, we're brought to repentance and to being forgiven again. Jesus doesn't forgive you just one time and say, just try to remember that. He forgives you every time you need to be forgiven so that he may restore you over and over and over again to this new life. You're not regenerated once. You're regenerated as often as you need to be in Christ. So never worry about that. Is there a limit? Is there a time that it won't happen for me? No. In Christ, there is full pardon and forgiveness for you. So be at peace. That regeneration is done by your Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, now and unto your last day, so that you may be ushered into the church triumphant. God bless you all, and we'll see you next time.